please introduce yourself and uh, share the screen. Uh, thanks. I will uh, start sharing my screen. Uh, I'm co-presenting with Natalie. Uh, I'm also we're also two of Jan Trier's uh, students, uh, so that's why we're here. Um, and we have looked into how to well how to become how people become a conspiracy thinker. Um, that's why we're here. Okay, sorry. So the topics we want to touch upon are uh, the background, the motives why we uh, investigated this. Uh, then we started doing some literature research and we found some factors that lead to conspiracy thinking. And uh, we put all these factors in a model. Uh, with this model, we model some scenarios and we try to verify this uh, model and then eventually tweaked it a little uh, to validate it and make it better uh, in our opinion. So to us, uh, the conspiracy theories always were somewhat of an entanglement thing, uh, which sounds really cool or cool, somewhat magical. We knew they were there, but they weren't really in the real world uh, present until last year uh, when we really got to see them throughout the whole news uh, first with the cell towers that were put on fire uh, because of the corona uh, outbreak and then during the uh, protests against the corona measures we also uh, saw a lot of conspiracy theory uh, theorists come together and last january it really was uh, on the, on the front page of every newspaper uh, because the uh, front man of the QAnon, one of the biggest conspiracy theory communities in the world, uh, joined the rioting at the White House uh, and that triggered our uh, interest in conspiracy theories. And then we tried to find out how people uh, start to believe in conspiracy theories. Okay, um, so in the literature we found some factors that are influencing uh, conspiracy thinking and we will discuss some with you. Um, so the first factor we found um, is the amount of positive events uh, someone encounters. And we also have negative events um, which influence the way people think. Another factor was the sense of individual control people have so this factor plays an important role in consp conspiracy thinking and this means the amount of control someone has over him or herself uh, so for example when we have new uh, covid measures people tend to lose their sense of control beca because they cannot decide anymore for themselves uh, whether they want to wear face masks or not Another factor was the way in which people reason. So some people have more conspiracy theory reasoning styles. And so these people don't believe things happen uh, because they just happen, um, but they are always seeking for a reason. And in the way of thinking, some conspiracy theorists have some psychopathological traits, uh, which influence the way of thinking. Um, another factor was the perception of risk. So research showed that conspiracy theorists do not see more risk uh, when nothing is happening. Uh, but as soon as a stressful event happens, uh, they can get in a vicious circle and the amount of risk they see uh, influences the stress, which influences the risk. Uh, and that way they perceive the risk as a more uh, severe risk. Another factor was the social group you live in. Um, another factor was education. Uh, this plays not a big role, but it plays some role. Uh, another factor we found was isolation. So when people get isolated, like during a lockdown, uh, we have less uh, social contacts. Um, and this makes that we are more open to conspiracy theories. Um, and then the last one, um, 
And this one is slightly connected to the perception of risk. This is the stress that's, that someone experiences. Um, and all these factors uh, decide if someone becomes a conspiracy theorist. So some of these factors are fixed factors. And uh, these are just personal things like education, perception of risk and reasoning styles. And other factors are more variable, like the amount of positive and ne negative events, uh, the sense of control someone has, uh, the friends you have, uh, the stress and the isolation. Uh, they are all, all fluctuating over time. Um, now we want to show our model on becoming a conspiracy thinker. Um, so we modeled um, the threats. We modeled them into uh, world states um, that get together. Um, and the state seeks a balance uh, between yeah, two friends. Um, yes. Um, then we have the positive events uh, on the top. We have the negative events in the bottom. Um, then we have isolation in the middle. Uh, yes. Um, and then the stress down there, down here, um, and the perception of risk also influences the stress. And then we have the sense of control up there and the, um, the preparation state after that. And then eventual the states representing the conspiracy thinking. Uh, and those are the factors uh, we can control in this model. Um, and you might miss the education and the way of thinking. And we have used those in the connection weights and the thresholds for some notes. Um, yeah, next slide, please. Thank you. And then we made the model adaptive. And we decided to make uh, two links adaptive. So from the SRSS, so the friends, uh, to the preparation state and from the stress to the preparation state. And um, because we thought it would fit for those connections. And then we made uh, two types of person, uh, one CT person and one not CT person. And CT stands for uh, conspiracy thinking. Um, and we wanted to show in the model what factors we changed to go from one to the other. So first the initial value of the friends you have so when you are a conspiracy theorist, we model more conspiracy friends. And when you are not a conspiracy theorist, we model more not conspiracy friends. And then we also change the sense of individual control and, and stress. We change the thresholds of those. So we increased uh, them or decreased them. And we changed the connection weights from the SRSS of the friends to the sense of control and the connection weight of the sense of control to the preparation state. And so then we model two different settings. So a CT person versus a non-CT person. And, but we also modeled more positive versus more, uh, more negative events. And we did that by changing the step mod interval. And, so we use the step mod interval for the simulation of positive and negative events. Um, and the, these were the world states uh, completely on the top and the bottom in the model. Um, and this caused the following metrics. So we have here um, a CT. Um, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, we have more positive and negative events for a non-CT person. So we can really see that the state of X10, uh, which is the dark red line, is uh, all the way on the bottom the whole time. Um, and you can see the individual control is actually rising. And the amount of uh, good non-CT friends is also rising. Um, and we have the same with the more ne negative events. And you can see that the sense of control is rising, uh, but slower. Uh, and the amount of good friends is also still rising. Um, and then we have a, C, a more CT configuration with um, more negative events and one with more positive events. And you can see the stress factors uh, with more negative events are rising more steep than on the right side. There they are 
uh, rising slower. Um, and you can see the conspiracy thinking, the dark uh, red line is actually still rising. Um, and it, yeah, it's, um, the rise is um, faster with more negative events. And with this, we wanted to show that conspiracy thinking uh, rather depends on the personal things uh, than the events happening. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Um, then we have this model and we tried to, well, we, we wanted to verify it. So we took the uh, steady states of each of the nodes um, and we found out that we had a minimum accuracy of 98.05% and an average accuracy of 99.7%, which was quite good, I uh, thought. Um, then we went on to validate it because the model, well, it showed some nice graphs, but we thought it could, could be a little better. Um, so we let one of Jan's uh, algorithms tweak some of the uh, variables. So we took the uh, uh, sense of individual control, the preparation state, the execution state, and the stress level uh, as nodes to be uh, changed and the link from the, uh, the links towards the stress and the link, yeah, actually all the links towards the stress <laughs> and one of the links towards the preparation state uh, to be modeled by the, uh, yeah, well, to, to be optimized by the tool. Um, we took all the links to the stress and actually the stress itself is one of the focus points of the validation um, because we would have expected the stress level to go down once the uh, conspiracy thinking rises. Uh, but in this graph, the purple line represents the stress. And you can see that this keeps on rising, even though the conspiracy thinking, this dark red line, uh, increases. And all the lit literature told us that the stress would actually decrease again uh, because people who think, who believe in conspiracy theories uh, find peace in believing in those uh, theories um, and therefore their stress level would decrease. But in our model, this wasn't the case. So we ran this optimization tool and then eventually uh, we got to this model where you can see that the conspiracy thinking still rises. But as soon as it really starts rising, uh, you can see that the stress level starts decreasing again. Um, so this was actually quite a nice model uh, in our opinion. Uh, so we were happy with this result. Uh, and this is what we uh, ended up with. So we ran through it a little quick, uh, but I hope it was uh, you could understand it and I uh, hope you liked it. And if you have any questions, shoot them, please. Well, uh, before we proceed, I would like to uh, tell you that we are uh, almost 15 minutes behind the schedule. And some people on our list have possibly hard constraints. So I would like to ask everybody uh, in the background, in the audience, uh, who has those constraints and cannot wait beyond the limit of time which is allocated for you, please tell me now. Otherwise, we just move into the break and continue normally. Okay, I, I take this silence as a green light to go. Please, uh, questions. Sorry, there must be a question. Can you 
have any objective definition for conspiracy thinking because it's very often that people divide everyone at allies and enemies and the what is called conspiracy thinking applied to allies is called very reasonable applied to enemies with the same level of reasoning and so the idea of what is conspiracy thinking may just depend on what group this person belongs to of competing group. Can you try to mitigate it and have any objective definition of what conspiracy thinking is? So a definition of what a conspiracy theory is. Oh. Is that what you ask for or? Yeah, how can you define what is conspiracy theories and to make it not just a smear mark on the opponent? Yeah, as you mentioned, it's really hard to divide people in w one of either uh, boxes, uh, if I can call it like that. Um, there are some definitions um, for a conspiracy theory, uh, and it mainly, well, the core of all those definitions is that uh, people try to find uh, uh, a reason, a cause behind events that are happening uh, and they don't take for granted that things just happen uh, and they believe that things happen because people with more power uh, insist on these events that are happening, uh, especially in their own favor and not really in the favor of the greater good. Um, and that's, yeah, a really broad definition. Uh, I tell you now, but that's the, the core of all the definitions uh, we found in the literature. Uh, I'd like to I'd like to make a quick comment, uh, okay. and I'm going to send you an email about this. Actually, okay, but, uh, there is a very different uh, definition of what conspiracy theory is. Uh, uh, it, I collaborated with a psychologist to write an article on this, but there are two different models of thinking. Uh, type one intuitive reasoning and type two rational methodical reasoning, they both come up with radically different answers to any problem and they're not reconcilable. So one of them uh, will always come up with what the other one calls conspiracy thinking. Just, just to put that out there. Okay, thanks. Any other questions? If not, then we should proceed with the talk of Gulai again. Thank you.